In today's video, we've gotten a special request from President Bo Jiden. The LEGO City President wants weapons of mass destruction. So we oblige him, building miniguns, fighter planes, and even nuclear bombs. Stay tuned till the end for a huge LEGO Star Wars giveaway, and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get the president some weapons of mass destruction. This is Four Star General Mills. His presence has been requested by the President of the United States, President Bo Jiden. The president called this meeting because recently he toured an American military base. He was flabbergasted when he was there. The soldiers and armaments that they were toting were completely outdated. Tanks that hadn't seen use since the 1940s, Vietnam era command post bunkers, extraordinarily ancient decryption technology being operated by the skeleton of Alan Turing, and an air force whose vehicles were so dangerous that they could implode on themselves at any moment. So President Bo Jiden was ordering General Mills to build him a new arsenal. Something that could compete with the likes of the Russians, the Chinese, or even Djibouti. General Mills agrees to build Jiden's arsenal. Jiden then polishes off a quick ice cream and then takes a quick power nap. General Mills' first order of business? Find himself a scientist. That's where BrickTactical.com comes in, baby. This is Dr. Schlieffen. He worked for Das Germans during the war, but was captured by the Americans during Operation Paperclip, and now in his old age is joining General Mills in the US Army Research Development Lab. His first task? Fix these 17th century looking at uniforms. Much better. Now how about some of these dated weapons the army's using? Dr. Schlieffen can easily develop those into vector submachine guns, MPXs, UMP-45s, MP7s, and how about some bigger weapons too? Assault rifles like the M4A1, the SCAR-H, and the AKM. But he can also do sniper rifles like the L96A1 or this long boy DMR. But what about some more tactical weapons? FBI, open up! Shotguns, grenade launchers, equipment like wire cutters, crowbars, flashlights, cameras, flashbangs, grenades, walkie talkies, batons, knives, night vision goggles, and computers. Everything a soldier might need. But these are all for standard soldiers. This scientist has something a little bigger in mind. You've all met the EOD specialist. However, Dr. Schlieffen has developed these suits into combat ready status. He's developed them into two beautiful colors. A nice olive green and an off gray, so you can look stylish while you blow up an entire country. But let's get these heavy weapons, man. Some heavy weapons. I am heavy weapons guy. Nom 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 nom. Moist and delicious. You can always use your classic M60, complete with a foregrip on this model and detachable ammo box for reloading. But I think we can go a little bigger. The scientist has been tasked with. Weapons of mass destruction, after all. How about this incredible chain gun with an actual oscillating barrel to it? Or you can rock the FG-42 assault rifle with detachable scope, bipod, and magazine, plus the Punisher ballistic shield. But all these weapons are a little bit too basic. Dr. Schlieffen can do better with the help of Brick Tactical. Oh yeah, now we're talking. The M7057 flamethrower. Let's get it. It looks like Hans has gotten the Flammenwerfer. Hans got the Flammenwerfer. This bad boy can rotisserie so many chickens. But that's not all. Two different heavy machine guns. And yes, we're getting a little sci fi with it. The H486. HMG from Halo with triple cylinders and a shield in front to collect bullet fire as well as the M247H machine gun. Just a single cylinder however, high ammo capacity magazine in the back, top grip, and an advanced cooling system. But these heavy weapons aren't all that BrickTactical.com sent us. They also sent us some sick weapons. A nice cherry blossom AK-47 that Joe Biden has picked up off the Steam Marketplace for $2,000. Bomb has been planted. 
as well as a red digital camo M4 with red dot sight, silencer, foregrip, and extendo mag. We've also got this micro tactical shoddy, but there's something really cool about it. It comes with separate shells that you can load the gun with. That's so detailed. And in case you run out of shotgun shells, just whip out your old brass knuckles. These aren't just any brass knuckles, they're spiked as well. BrickTactical.com and Dr. Schlieffen have truly outdone themselves, but their facility is kind of lackluster. Gray. That's about it. Gray. That's that's the facility. So General Mills needs to build something a little bit more fortified before they get into the world ending weapons. I bought some of these. A lot of these. Metal fencing that we can surround a perimeter to prevent baddies from coming on in. I'm talking about the Rushkis. General Mills has built himself a big ol' fence here. But that's not all he's got. He's also installed some roadblocks with security at the front, some searchlights at the top, and of course we have the CIA lurking around. Just to keep an eye on everyone and make sure nobody spills any US secrets or gives anything away to the Russians. Hold on there. Speaking of giving things away, today's giveaway is happening over on Whatnot. On Saturday, April 13th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be giving away an original sealed Naboo Swamp Speeder as well as an original sealed Land Speeder. Both very rare collectible sets, and on top of that, a LEGO Pack 38 from Battle Brick also sealed. This will all be happening during my live stream auction over on Whatnot. This show is happening during Whatnot Con, the largest global collectibles convention happening on Whatnot, April 11th to the 14th. Whatnot is essentially a live auction house where you can get some amazing deals, and I'm going to be selling a load of custom clone troopers, authentic LEGO clone troopers, and more. So check out my link in the description below, and you get $10 off your very first order if you use my affiliate link in the description below. I hope to see you guys there on Saturday, April 13th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can win over $200 worth of LEGO items. We've got two new guard towers that we can set up. Guard tower number one is a three-story monstrosity with sandbags at the bottom and a weapons rack at the top. And watchtower number two has a weapons rack at the top, but is more of a watchtower versus a barracks, some stairs, and a barrel for extra armaments that you want to store. So we've got a pretty basic military base right here to guard all of the secrets. Now I think it's time Dr. Schlieffen builds some things worth guarding. First of all, high caliber mortars always worth having in a military base. Two of them bad Larrys out here. Then how about a mounted tripod HMG right here? This bad Larry is actually so unbelievably rad because first of all, this top piece pops open like so, so you can easily remove the ammunition. It actually has a visor right here, which is a range finder. So you have your main gunner and then you can have a side gunner next to him finding the range that he needs to shoot. A beautiful piece of weaponry, but I think we can go a little bit bigger, quite literally, with just a bigger HMG right here. This puppy totes a rotary cannon on the front along with a ballistic shield. No range finder this time, but as you can see, some pretty baller belt-fed ammunition. But Dr. Schlieffen doesn't just mess around with HMGs. He has also developed possibly the most realistic looking rocket launcher I have ever seen made out of Lego. This puppy is absolutely massive. It totes a scope on the front right there, plus, it kind of actually works. There's a spring right here, and you can go ahead and... But isn't that just sick? Now, all of these new armaments are fantastic, but my favorite has to be this bad Larry. This is a Calliope missile system. You can swivel it around. You can raise the angle of it. As you can see, eight rockets on the front, although six of them are just for show. Pow! Pretty baller. Schlieffen hasn't just made missiles. He's also made napalm. Or really any type of bomb that you want to put inside these casings. These racks right here fit six different bombs. Able to be dropped by any kind of plane carrier. Or as warfare seems to be going nowadays, via drone. Which I've purchased this brand new drone operator to help drop Schlieffen's bombs. Let's check them out. We have seen some variants of these attack drones in the past for LEGO. But as you can see, this one right here is a bit smaller 
controller, comes with an RC controller, and then of course there's the drone pilot right here, who I've actually never seen this vest before. He comes with a bunch of different pouches on the back that you could just slip a knife right on in there. That's that's pretty nice, and I'm guessing like a walkie-talkie right there. Eh, sadly the walkie does not fit. So I don't know what you put there, but this drone and drone operator is going to be perfect for some war crimes. I mean, I mean, perfectly legal Geneva suggestion war stuff. What? But Dr. Schlieff in here simply has bigger aspirations than plain old HE bombs. And General Mills tends to agree. They want their bombs to get dirty. Bro, what are you talking about, man? So they call in the brand new hazmat unit, who transports some hazardous materials for Dr. Schlieffen right here to play with. As an extra precaution, I bought all our minifigures the gas mask head pack from Brick Tactical. Let's get our boys nuclear warfare proof. You've got so many different gas masks. You can have one for every day of the week. Everyone's doing it. The president of the United States, Neo from the Matrix, Walter White, Chucky, John Wick, heck, even Skibbity Toilet. Yes, yes. So first, Schlieffen starts with building the teeniest, eeniest, weeniest, beeniest, whittlest, idlest nuclear bomb ever. And, and then he gets the hang of it, and he expands, building a bomb twice the size of his original nuke. Pretty soon, he Oppenheimers his way up to a big ol' fat daddy nuke. Something that could absolutely level a city. And he develops some technology around these nukes. The nuclear bomb thrower. A bazooka-like device that will just yuck nuclear bombs at the enemy. After Schlieffen's slow development of the nuclear bomb, he finally develops ICBMs. Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. These puppies can travel anywhere in the world in a matter of minutes. We can finally destroy France. <laughs> I mean, um, we should never use these, ever. But of course, the current technology that Schlieffen is working with to deploy these is lackluster. The US Air Force currently only exists in the form of a single little bird. Not really something that's gonna be able to launch a missile. That's where this bad Larry comes in. General Mills has hired Air Force Giga Chad Goose to reinvent the US Air Force. Goose's first order of business? Drink a protein shake. Gotta get those gains. His second order of business is to draft up blueprints for a brand new fighter jet. Let's go help him build it real quick. Okay, well, my cat Reyna is kinda gatekeeping <laughs> the brand new fighter jet. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am? She does not care. There's not a thought between those eyes. Oh, God. Goose's blueprints have been actualized, and we have our first F-15 fighter. But General Mills needs to go ahead and build him an airstrip. Heck yeah, easiest build 2024, let's go. All right, now that we've got our little airstrip going, let's check out the F-15. Of course, they've got their vertical stabilizer tails. Up top here is a monolithic speed brake, which will flip up, but it's just really hard to do. Okay, I, I don't know if this is aviation approved, but we're getting, yay! To get the pliers out to get this open. The monolithic speed brake. Not very fast. Of course, the cockpit with a pilot inside. Nice little decal on there, too. Then there's the gear on the underbelly, like the AIM 9 Sidewinder missiles, the external fuel tanks right next to it, and the big boy AIM 120 AMRAM, and the whittle, itle, biddle AIM 7 Sparrows behind it. I mean, this thing is absolutely baller and definitely will transfer those ICBMs with ease. But what if we made it stealthy? Oh yeah, we've got ourselves an SR-71 Blackbird. Yes sir, this puppy is one sleek design right here and should be able to travel extremely easily with its stealth technology. It's much longer than the F-15 right here, although a little less wide, and sadly doesn't really carry any weapons on it, as this puppy is mainly used for reconnaissance. Fly, my Blackbird! All right, after a little first flight trial run, it's pretty clear that only the F-15 is usable at this point, as the Blackbird has gone down. That's okay, because General Mills here has hired another contractor, this time from the enemy. Russian General Zhukov joins the team, and he's going to be giving us some serious technology. That's right, the General's brought with him some blueprints. Blueprints for a massive Katusha modern 
rocket launcher. And there she blows the big ol' Katusha. All right, so this puppy is made out of Technic bricks. So my fingers are in pain from building this thing. There's so many little clippy things and snappy things. Inside it, you get yourselves two driver's seat and a steering wheel and a gear shift. Not super proportional to a Lego minifigure, but that's okay. Doors do open up. You can actually rotate this and it does kind of push forward, although it's really, really derpy. You got a little knob here so you could rotate the missile launcher around. But the best part is these missiles actually fire. So let's set up a little targeting range here. I've got this little crack shack we could put down. Perfect, now let's give it some inhabitants. Okay, there we go, there are inhabitants. Teddy, you might wanna get, get out from down range. Now we just need to aim this sucker, then we just twist this knob. <laughs> All right, we're gonna aim down range a little bit more here. This should be good. Yeah, it's actually really good. Now at this point, Dr. Schlieffen is very jealous of Zukov's success. And General Mills understands this. So he agrees to fund Schlieffen's passion project. Something he never got to do during the war. Finish the German mouse tank. And there she blows. The mouse tank is the heaviest super heavy tank ever constructed in the world. It boasts a massive turret, half the body of the entire tank itself. An interior room here where the loading gunner can sit and load in the shells. You can go ahead and lift up the hood here and expose the main body. And of course, you can even get underneath this body. This will reveal the inner components, including the engine from within, as well as more spare ammunition down below that is actually removable if you need, more engine parts on the side, and room for two tank operators to actually utilize this badly. Larry. There are all sorts of different instruments inside to drive and operate said tank. During the war, this wonder weapon was never actually completed, as only two of the bodies and one turret was produced out of the five ordered by Germany. By the time those two parts were produced, the Soviets had already overtaken their position. But here in Lego form, this thing is absolutely insane. It is by far the largest Lego tank I have ever ever built on this channel. Well, I think it's safe to say that Bo Jiden is very pleased with his super team and all that they have accomplished. Bo Jiden has built the American arsenal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed showing off all of these crazy custom Lego weapons that I acquired. Especially thank you to BrickTactical.com, link in the description below for sending a lot of this stuff. And be sure to check out my WhatNot stream next Saturday, link in the description below for the giveaway. Also, huge shout out to all of my channel members. Your support means the world to me and helps me make these videos. In particular, thank you so much to Finley McNair and Derek Moore for rejoining the channel membership and to all of you who are continuing your membership. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bomb has been planted. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I would live stream or upload. Thanks so much.